heights, there's a higher calling on all our lives. Let's live to love, not just survive. Wake up, what are we waiting for? Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Sign Up Series number 49. That is correct, you guys. This is Monster Jam Sign Up Series number 49. We've got a total of 60 trucks, and who will be your winner of this event? We're gonna kick off Sign Up Series 49 with the debuting uh, independent state truck to get on Saigon Shaker. Then we're gonna head on down here. If you guys do not remember what truck you're in, make sure to go check out the Field of Trucks video. This is the Mix 15 uh, Yellow Tour Loco, and that's the five pad bulldozer. You have, I believe, 11 debuting trucks this event, so this will be a crazy event. And that right there is the uh, bypass one with the orange bead locks. And I believe this might be the last time you see the holiday stunt truck in uh, a sign up series. It will be uh, retiring and replaced by Santa's monster sleigh from the Superstore. So, yeah. Ending off sign up series for uh, round one. Of Cyber Series 49 with Harley Quinn uh, taking on the Galaxy's Gravedigger. Uh, here is the track. We just got the normal show off showdown ramp, and it's good old fashioned who goes the farthest. So, we're gonna kick off Sign Up Series 49 with the debuting Independence Day stunt truck taking on Saigon Shaker. Welcome to Sign Up Series 49. And just like that, the Independence Day truck will get the win as Saigon Shaker. I don't know what the heck he did. Uh, plays dead. How about that? Have you guys seen the new double packs for 2022 yet? I have. They're pretty sweet, actually. I like them. Uh, Gears Max D will get the win. I also will be busy these next two and a half weeks for school. I have a lot of stuff coming up for school, so I won't be making as much videos as I want to, but I still will be making my NFL weekly predictions videos, so... Be on the lookout for that, and if they're uploaded at a weird time, my apologies. But uh, anyways, next up we have the Galaxy's Megalodon taking on the Sheer Madness Gravedigger. And Gravedigger does a weird flip, I don't know if he hit Avenger, doesn't matter, Megalodon will get the win. Next up we have a mix 16 battle between the Purple 30th Anniversary Gravedigger and the Elemental Truck Zombie. And Zombie is going to take out Gravedigger. Next up, we have the debuting Georgia State Truck for 2021, taking on the Breaking World Records Brodozer. And Brodozer takes out Georgia. Next up, we have the OCD Meltdown, taking on the Elemental Trucks Hurricane Force. And the OCD Meltdown gets a push from Hurricane Force for the win. But don't feel bad, people who lose in round number one. You guys will get a chance to become a fast loser. Since we have 60 trucks, we will need, I believe, two or four fast losers. I think it's four, so don't worry. Uh, anyways, we have the Gear Son of a Digger taking on Maximum Destruction. And Max D is going to take out Son of a Digger. Next up, we have a Mix 15 battle between the World Finals 20 Avenger and uh, the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco with the uh, Purple Beadbox. Oh, a bad flip there for Avenger. He did not hit my uh, leg. Uh, El Toro Loco will get the win. If I can get them both in the front, gosh, there we go. All right, next up we have the Nitro Neon's Joker to get on the debuting Bulldozer from the five pack. And, oh, I thought Joker had it. Here, I gotta stand up for this one. Oh, that's really close. Joker's turned a little bit. I don't know if he got the win. I don't think he did. No, just barely he's gonna lose the Bulldozer, but he's definitely in contention for a fast loser spot. Next up, we have the Gear Soldier 4 chain taking on the Breaking World Records El Toro Loco. And good side-by-side -side battle, but the win's gonna go to El Toro Loco. Next up, you have my favorite truck from the five pack, the debuting Maroon El Toro Loco, which looks absolutely outstanding. Top 10 truck of the year right there for Spin Master. Uh, taking on the Mix 16 Son of a Digger. And he'll get the win, how about that? Next up, you have Double Decker taking on the Gears Earthshaker. And uh, Double Decker is going to get the win. Next up, we have the debuting Elemental's Fire Grave Digger taking on Kraken. And, ooh, Kraken with that last second effort. And uh, he'll get the win. Wow, taking on Grave Digger. That was a beautiful slap wheelie by Kraken. But now we have the Gears Whiplash taking on the Showtime Truck's Grave Digger. 
Oh, Whiplash flips, but he's gonna block Grave Digger for the win. Next up, you have the Digger's Dungeon Grave Digger taking on the debuting Rick Cleaves, Max D. And oh, wow. Uh, Digger's Dungeon is gonna get the win, but Max D might be in contention for a fast loser spot. So don't worry whoever's in Max D, I don't remember who it is. Next up, we have a Gear and Galaxy battle between Alien Invasion and El Toro Loco. Oh, oh, nice save by Alien Invasion. Doesn't matter. El Toro Loco is going to get the win. But that was probably the save of the series so far. Next up, we have the debuting yellow El Toro Loco from the five pack. This is the one with the orange beadlocks taking on the Galaxy's Pirate's Curse. Okay, I don't know what the heck uh, Pirate's Curse did. It looked like it was going straight and then turned. Doesn't matter, El Toro Loco is going to get the win. But that was probably the weirdest race so far. Although that first race was pretty weird with Saigon Shaker. Wow, good race there. Ooh, this is tough actually. It looks like Soldier Fortune, but I don't know. Oh, just barely it's gonna be Soldier Fortune. Holiday Stunt Church probably in contention for a fast loser spot though. So it looks like both Yellow El Toro Locos advanced. But now we have the Darkest Neo Bakugan Dragonoid taking on Gravedigger the Legend. And Dragonoid with a nice comeback win. Next up, we have the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021, taking on the Galaxy's Dragon. And I believe Texas will get the win. Oh yeah, big win for Texas. Next up, we have another Mix 16 battle between the Boneyard Truck's Mohawk Warrior and the Mix 16 Soldier Fortune. And Mohawk Warrior holds on to take out Soldier Fortune. Next up, we have a dog battle between the Rottweiler and the Mutt. Wow, it looked like a Rottweiler was up on two wheels uh, trying to do a stoppy, and uh, Monster Mutt will drive over Rottweiler for the win. We are having some fantastic races so far. And another good race, but it's gonna belong to the Max Contrast Dragon. Next up, you have the debuting Black El Toro Loco from the five pack, taking on the Galaxy Zombie. Oh, I don't know what the heck El Toro Loco did. It looked like he like, he hit the ground and like stopped. A uh, nice comeback win there for Zombie. Next up, we have the Gears Mohawk Warrior taking on the Inverse Northern Nightmare. And it's gonna go to Northern Nightmare. Next up, we have the debuting Max Contrast Blue Thunder taking on the Galaxy's Bakugan Dragonoid. And, oh, great side-by-side -side race. But going down from the aerial view, it is gonna be Bakugan Dragonoid, but Blue Thunder is in contention for another fast loser spot. I also forgot to mention that the Gears Mohawk Warrior is also in contention for a fast loser spot. Oh well, next up we have the Gears Blue Thunder taking on the Breaking World Record Zombie. Oh, Blue Thunder with a terrible crash, that sucks. And the win's gonna go to Zombie. Man, bad luck there for Blue Thunder. Next up, you have the Burnt Victim Zombie taking on the Breaking World Records Dalmatian. Man, look at those hands and that face. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, nice uh, somersault there for Zombie. Doesn't matter, the dog gets the win. Next up, we have the Elemental Trucks Earth Shaker taking on the debuting Orange El Toro Loco from the Five Pack. My least favorite truck from the Five Pack. Other than Bulldozer, Bulldozer was just a re release. And ooh, great matchup there. Great side by side race, I meant to say. Uh, the win's gonna go to Earthshaker, though. And your final race of round number one before the Fast Loser Tournament is gonna be between Harley Quinn and the Galaxy's Gravedigger. And Harley Quinn gets the win. But well, we are gonna need two Fast Losers to make this an even 32 truck bracket. I'm sorry to hear hammering in the background, that sucks. Uh, we have a lot of cleaning going on outside, and now you hear a vacuum. Amazing. Oh boy, but uh, these four trucks will be competing in the Fast Loser Tournament. There were six trucks that I thought deserved a Fast Loser spot, and it ultimately came down to the Max Contrast Blue Thunder and the Gears Mohawk Warrior. Although I ultimately went with Blue Thunder because I thought he was closer uh, to whoever won in his race than Mohawk Warrior. So I'm sorry for whoever was in Mohawk Warrior for coming up a little bit short in the Fast Loser Tournament. So uh, anyways, better luck next time in Sign of Series 50 to you. Thank mm -hmm. you.
but uh, these four trucks will be competing in the Fast Loser Tournament. We're gonna kick it all off with the Nitro Neon's Joker taking on the debuting Rickley's Max D. And then you have the Holiday Stunt Truck taking on the debuting Max Contrast Blue Thunder. So let's kick it all off with these two trucks. The first Fast Loser is gonna be... It's gonna be Joker taking out Max D. So I'm sorry to Reckless Max D for losing in the Fast Loser Tournament. Better luck next time in Sime Series 50. Uh, Nitro Neon's Joker is your first Fast Loser. And your final Fast Loser joining Nitro Neon's Joker is either going to be the Holiday Stunt Truck or the debuting Max Contrast Blue Thunder. It's going to be Max Contrast Blue Thunder. So sorry to the Holiday Stunt Truck. Wow. Losing in round number one and in the Fast Loser Tournament in its final sign-up series. That sucks. But uh, this truck had a great run on my channel. I believe it, it made it to several championship races, but it ultimately ended up losing. So the Holiday Stunt Truck has been retired from the sign-up series for now until I get the um, uh, Santa's Monster Sleigh. And I might be thinking about doing season two of the Holiday Points competition. Oh wait, you didn't hear me say that. You didn't hear me say that at all. Uh, Blue Thunder is your second fast loser. If you heard me say that we're gonna do a season two of the Holiday Points competition, no you didn't, you didn't hear me say that. But anyways, here are your trucks in round number two. We're gonna kick it all off with the debuting Independent State truck, taking on Gears Max D, then we're gonna head on down here. I'm trying to count the debuting trucks that won. I believe we're at two so far. Yep, we're at two, three. Uh, that's four, that El Toro Loco, uh, five, uh, six, wow, six debuting trucks have made it into round number two, which means five trucks have been eliminated, that's your final race of round number two, the Fast Loser Battle, so let's get into round number two right now. First up, like I said, it's the debuting Independence Day truck, taking on the Gears Max D. And Max D, big win over the Independence Day truck. So that's another debut truck eliminated. Next up, we have the Galaxy's Megalodon taking on the Elemental Truck Zombie. Oh, Megalodon with a bad flip. That's going to get the win to Zombie. I think this is going to be a very fast race. Well and behold, I was right. And the win's going to go to Brodozer. Yes, I can tell. So this is straight. This is over, and just like that, Brodozer's front tire is sticking out, and he's gonna take out OCD Meltdown. Next up, we have another Mixed 15 battle between Maximum Destruction and the Yellow El Toro Loco from Mixed 15. There we go. So let's start for El Toro Loco, but a big win over Max D. Next up, we have the debuting Bulldozer from the five pack, taking on the Breaking World Records El Toro Loco. Bulldozer flips, and that's gonna give the win to the Breaking World Records El Toro Loco. Hey, he's on his roof. Next up, we have the debuting Maroon El Toro Loco from the five pack, taking on Double Decker. Oh, I don't know what the heck Double Decker did. It looked like one of his tires was up in the air, kind of like, kind of like that. Uh, it doesn't matter, uh, El Toro Loco is gonna get the win. Next up, we have Kraken taking on the Gears Whiplash. Wow, how about that race right there? We rarely get to see a truck up like that in the air. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but the win is just gonna go to Kraken just barely. You can tell right there from his tire sticking out. The fantastic races just keep on piling up this series. There's another good one. Digger's Dungeon Grave Digger's gonna get the win. Next up, we have the debuting Yellow Toro Loco from the five pack with the orange beadlocks. Uh, taking on the Breaking World Records, Soldier Fortune. And Soldier Fortune's gonna take out El Toro Loco. Next up, we have the Darkest Neo Bakugan Dragonoid taking on the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021. So start for Texas, but he's gonna get the win over Dragonoid. Next up, we have another mixed 16 battle between the Boneyard Truck's Mohawk Warrior and the Mutt. Oh, nice really by Monster Mutt. He flipped over in the end and that cost him. Mohawk Warrior gets the win. Next up, we have the Max Contrast Dragon taking on the Galaxy Zombie. And, ooh, that's a very wide race. I believe it's Dragon. I'm just gonna go down here and check. Yes, Dragon gets the win over Zombie just barely. Next up, we have the Inverse Northern Nightmare taking on the Galaxy's Bakugan Dragonoid. 
Oh, Northern Nightmare flips, and that gives the Winter Dragonoid. Wow, we've had a lot of crashes this side of series. Next up, we have a breaking world record battle between Zombie and Dalmatian. And the win is gonna go to the dog. Next up, we have the Elemental Trucks Earth Shiku taking on Harley Quinn. And Harley Quinn drives over Earthshaker for the win. And your final race of round number two is a fast loser battle between Nitro Neon's Joker and the debuting Max Contrast Blue Thunder. And it's gonna be Joker taking out Blue Thunder and there goes another debuting truck. Alrighty you guys, so here are your trucks in round number three. We have 16 trucks. We're gonna kick it all off with the Gears Max D and the Elemental Truck Zombie. They're gonna head on down here. I believe Two debuting trucks have advanced into round number three. That uh, be the Maroon Altura Loco and the Texas State Truck. I'm just double checking. That's not it. That's not it. And uh, yeah, we only have two debuting trucks left in round number three. So will a debuting truck win the whole event? It's not looking good so far. First up, we have the Gears Max D taking on the Elemental Truck Zombie. <laughs> And the win is gonna go to Max D. You can tell from that tire out there, even if I scooch it down, Max D is gonna block Zombie for the win. Next up, we have the Breaking World Records Brodozer taking on the Mix 15 Yellow El Toro Loco. Nice save there by El Toro Loco. Brodozer turned to the left, and El Toro Loco is gonna get the win. Next up, we have an El Toro Loco battle between the Breaking World Records and the debuting Maroon. Oh man, El Toro Loco, bad flip. That gives the win to the Maroon El Toro Loco. Man, I thought uh, that Breaking World Records had it. He went down perfectly and just, man, that flip costed him big time. Next up, we have Kraken taking on the Digger's Dungeon Grave Digger. Oh, Kraken with a very bad flip and the Digger's Dungeon Grave Digger with a huge win. It seems like this right lane has been producing a lot of bad wrecks so far. We have the Breaking World Records Soldier Fortune taking on the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021. And the Texas State Truck with a huge comeback win. Next up, we have the Boneyard Trucks Mohawk Warrior taking on the Max Contrast Dragon. And Mohawk Warrior, big win over Dragon. Next up, we have the Galaxy's Bakugan Dragonoid taking on the Breaking World Records Dalmatian. And the win is gonna go to Bakugan Dragonoid as they both turn to the left. This is straight over, and you can tell right there, Bakugan Dragonoid takes out Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And your final race of round number three is gonna be between Harley Quinn and the Nitro Neon's Joker. Hey, this is a familiar race right here. And how about the fast loser Nitro Neon's Joker taking out Harley Quinn? Alrighty, you guys, so here are your trucks in the quarterfinals. I'm gonna kick it all off with the Gears Max D and the Mix 15. Yellow Toro Loco. I hit Joker here. Uh, then we have the debuting Maroon El Toro Loco taking on the Digger Dungeon Grave Digger. Then we have the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021 taking on the Breaking World Records Mall Warrior. I wish it was that one, but we have the Break. Uh, God, I almost just said it again. The Boneyard Trucks Mohawk Warrior. And then we have the uh, Galaxy Bakugan Dragonoid taking on the Fast Loser, Nitro Neon's Joker. So uh, both uh, debuting trucks have made it to the quarterfinals. We have a Fast Loser in here. I don't think a Fast Loser has ever won a sign in my sign-up series on my channel, so that's interesting. So let's go to the first race between those two trucks. The first truck going into the semis is going to be... The Mix 15 Yellow El Toro Loco taking out the Gears Max D. I thought Max D had it. He's been a very fast truck all night long. But yeah, but that Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco has been surprising some people, including me. Next up, we have the debuting Maroon El Toro Loco from the 5-pack taking on the Digger's Dungeon Grave Digger. And the Maroon El Toro Loco is going to take out the Digger's Dungeon Grave Digger. Next up, we have the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021. Taking on the Breaking World Records. Gosh, I said it again. The Boneyard Trucks Mohawk Warrior. Gosh. Oh, good save by Mohawk Warrior. But the Texas State Truck gets the win. So no, I can't no longer say the Breaking World Records uh, Mohawk Warrior now. Yay. And the final truck going to move into the semifinals is either going to be the Nitro Neon's Joker, the Fast Loser, or the Galaxy Bakugan Dragonoid. Joker refuses. See, 
I would redo this race, but since Joker and uh, Bakugan Dragonoid didn't flip, I am actually going to give the win to Joker. So Joker gets the win. I'm sorry if that doesn't make any sense, but since he didn't flip, and since Joker didn't flip, we're going to leave it like that. Joker gets the win. Alrighty, you guys, so here are your trucks in the semifinals. Inside of the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco, you have Nathan 7159. Uh, inside of the debuting Maruno Toro Loco, you have Chantel Dubois. Uh, inside of the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021, you have Jacob Armstrong. And inside of the uh, Fast Loser, the Nitro Neon's Joker, you have Awesome Sports 13. So we have two El Toro Locos in this event. We have two debuting trucks. We have a Fast Loser and a surprise truck. So this is a very interesting final four. I'm actually really, really excited to see who will win. Will it be uh, both surprise trucks? Or will it be, um, or could it be both debuting trucks? Or could it be a mixture of, let's say, um, uh, that yellow Toro Loco and the Texas State truck? Or could it be the yellow, not the yellow god, um, the maroon El Toro Loco and Joker? I don't know, it could be a mixture. But uh, let's go to the first race right now. Actually, before we do that, I believe Chantel Dubois is a former Sign of Series champion. Awesome Sports 13, Jacob Armstrong, and Nathan7159 have never won on my channel. So we might have a new champion, and, or we might have a possible two-time champion. So let's find out right now. The first truck moving into the championship race is going to be... It's gonna be the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco blocking the Maroon El Toro Loco. So sorry to Chantel Dubois in the Maroon El Toro Loco. Very nice job. I did not expect the Maroon El Toro Loco to make it this far. I expected it to make it into the quarterfinals or round three. But uh, this truck exceeded my expectations. Same with Chantel Dubois. You were so close to getting your second ever win on my channel. Better luck next time in Slam Series 50. But Nathan7159 takes the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco into a championship race. So who's going to join Nathan7159 into the championship race? Is it going to be Awesome Sports 13 in the Fast Loser Nitro Neon's Joker? Or is it going to be Jacob Armstrong in the debuting Texas State Truck? Who's it going to be? It's going to be the Texas State Truck. So the Fast Loser falls in the semifinals. So sorry to Awesome Sports 13 and the Nitro Neon's Joker. Wow, man, this truck was on a roll. I thought it was actually gonna make it to the championship race. Oh, well, it comes up short in, short in the semifinals, but better luck next time in Slam Series 50 to you, Awesome Sports 13. But Jacob Armstrong takes a debuting truck, the Texas State truck, into the championship race to meet Nathan7159. So in the championship race of Slam Series number 49, Inside of the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco, you have Nathan7159. And inside of the debuting Texas State Truck for 2021, you have Jacob Armstrong. So, I know for a fact none of these guys have ever won on my channel. I don't know if either of them have made it to a championship race before. Yellow Toro Loco has been a very surprising truck this entire series. I did not expect it to make it this far. Same with uh, that debuting Texas uh, State Truck. This truck is actually really, really cool. One of my favorite uh, state trucks so far. I believe my least favorite has to belong to California, though. Uh, but this is a very awesome championship race. I'm super excited to see who will win. But first, a word from our sponsor. Uh-oh. Guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie. Hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on. I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is. It's hump day. Woo -woo! Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah! Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Thank you so much to Geico for sponsoring this video. Remember, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, El Toro Loco takes a terrible flip. And the first win belongs to the Texas State Truck. Will Jacob Armstrong win Sign Up Series 49 and become a brand new champion, taking the debuting Texas State Truck into the winner's circle? Or will Nathan7159 and the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco get a win and tie and force one more race? Let's find out. Very good race, but no, he will not. Jacob Armstrong and the debuting Texas State Truck is your winner of Sign Up Series 15. 
I said 50. Uh, is your winner of Signum Series 49. Congratulations, Jacob. You are now a brand new champion if you have joined the winner circle. Taking the debuting Texas State truck. I believe a couple debuting trucks have won on my channel. But the Texas State truck joins the winner circle along with Jacob Armstrong. Man, so sorry to Nathan7159 and the Yellow Toro Loco. You have been a major surprise in the sign-up series. If I do do another sign-up series and put the Mix 15 Yellow Toro Loco in it, be sure to look out for it because, look, I didn't expect that this truck to make it this far. But, hey, it made it to the championship race. Ultimately, did he did lost to the Texas State truck. But uh, look out for this truck if I do another sign-up series with it. So... That was sign of series number 49, you guys. We got ourselves a brand new champion in a brand new championship truck, the debuting Texas State Truck. So that was sign of series 49, you guys. Make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free, and you guys can always undo it. We are on the road to 800 subscribers right now. And also, y'all can follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I am going to post, and you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign of series and points competitions. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to. What the heck is that black mark on my arm? I don't know. Uh, the link for my Instagram is always down in my description. It's always been down there. I highly encourage you guys to check my description. I do post some key information in there from time to time. One last congratulations to Jacob Armstrong for winning Sign of Series 49 in the debuting Texas State Truck. Congratulations, my friend. So, this is Monster Jam Fan 0311 signing out. <laughs>